songs are about night people. The Lorms. The blinking world of neon. And he sings in one mood. How's it going guys? I got something special planned for you today. I'm gonna teach you how to break your knees because this next Ukrainian dance move is called Knee Breakers. But don't worry, if you do it right, it'll only look like you're breaking your knees. So let's get this going. As always, starting in a nice squat, good posture, tall, firm. First part is easy enough. You're gonna do a little bit of a hop and land like this, okay? Now come close here. This is the difference between breaking your knees and looking like you're breaking your knees. Notice how I'm not directly down on my knee here. I'm actually to the side along here, the calf muscle and outer quad. I'm landing in that area and then you're actually not landing on your knees, but it looks like it. This other leg is out straight. Foot is kind of tucked in here. Get as low as you can. The lower you get, the better this move is gonna look and arms out. Now this next part is the hard part because it takes a lot of strength. Uh, you have to basically from this position be able to hop back up onto your foot like that, okay? But there's a little bit more to it than that. As you hop up onto the foot, this leg is gonna be swooping around. You're basically gonna trip yourself. You're gonna use this leg to take out the other one and send it out to the side and now you're in this position on the other side. So if I do that, Connected, it looks like this here and around like so okay here hopping up and bringing the leg forward sending this guy out to the side without a pause now looks like that and then you got to be able to do it on this side as well like coming forward swiping Send this leg out to the side. All right guys, today I'm gonna teach you an inward 360 roll. Super fun, spunky move that adds a lot of character to your lines, but it can be a bit tricky to learn, so I'm gonna break it down into four steps for you today. I turn to the left, so I'm also gonna be kicking my left leg here, okay? So if you go to the right, kick your right leg. It's a lot like a reverse Kong uh, vault when you do that. What I want you to do is land in this position. You can take it to the next level then by Kicking up to the handstand once you land in that downward dog position. Step, kick, turn, kick. Okay, and even if you can't do a handstand, it's fine. When you do this move, you really only make it to here anyway. So if you can kind of kick up, that's all you need to do. Step two, you are going to get down into table position here. This is the hard part. When people do this move, they end up rolling forward and then it's not the correct move and that's where this comes into play 
If you roll forward, it's because you're going to your shoulder. That makes you roll forward. What we need to do here is drop our elbow in, just like you would do when you're doing windmills. This elbow needs to drop in and you need to push away. Once I'm here, when I push, that's gonna help you roll the direction that I wanna roll instead of rolling over, okay? What I suggest here is taking a leg and sending it out straight and then elbow, okay? Once you kick your leg up, push, go from your elbow to your shoulder and you should have that turn. Kick, push, and you're coming out just like a parkour roll. Same thing here, just like a regular parkour roll. Step number three, uh, it's good to have a good solid reverse Kong for that push aspect. You can actually push off your hands, okay? Legs play a part. Once they're tucked, they're gonna shoot out, okay? So your legs kind of pull you while your arms push you, okay? Tuck with, pull push, okay? The reason that's important is because we're gonna do that same type of push during this move, we just need to add that shoulder drop. So if I do the reverse Kong with the elbow shoulder drop, it looks like this. There we go, we have the end of the inward 360 dive roll. All right, and moving on to step four here, piecing it all together, okay? So we're gonna start with that kick here, landing here, kick up, push, and do that elbow shoulder drop. Once again, take a step, kick, land, handstand, push, roll, okay? The last little piece is to not land on the foot. We now want to kick all the way to that handstand position, which is pretty violent on the shoulders. As soon as you're doing it, you wanna be pushing, doing that reverse clunk push, because landing, super jarring, okay? So you almost want to be pushing while you're landing. And then it's not jarring on your shoulders and you're getting the move. Once again, full move looks like this. There we are. 